Hello all, welcome again to VXWorks Lab implementation and this is the experiment 3 and uh, we are going to demonstrate how to use VXWorks Semaphores in this demonstration. Semaphores permit, permit multitasking applications to co coordinate their activities. The most obvious way for tasks to communicate is via various shared data structures because all tasks in VXWorks exist in a single linear address space, shared data structure between tasks are trivial. Global variables, linear buffers, ring buffers, link lists, and pointers can be referenced directly by code running in different contexts. Okay, <clears throat> the main objective of this demonstration is to demonstrate the use of VXWorx and semaphores. So VXWorks semaphores are highly optimized and provide the fastest intertask communication mechanisms in VXWorks as we discussed in previous sessions. Semaphores are the primary means for addressing the requirements of both mutual exclusion and task synchronization. There are three types of wide uh, or of wind semaphores optimized to address different classes of problems. Here are the three binary mutual exclusion and counting binary the fastest most general purpose semaphore optimized for synchronization and can be also be used for mutual exclusion a mutual exclusion is a special binary semaphore optimized for problems inherent in mutual exclusion priority inheritance deletion safety and recursion whereas in counting semaphores like the binary semaphores they are like the binary semaphores but keeps track of the number of times the semaphore is given optimized for guarding, guarding multiple instances of a resource. Let's see what are all the uh, routines which are wind semaphores provide a single uniform interface for uh, semaphore control. Let's see the routines. Okay, Only the creation routines are specific to the semaphore type c sem b create into options sem b underscore state and um, state initial state allocate initialize a binary semaphore sem m create for allocate and initialize mutual exclusion semaphore but only one parameter here sem c create uh, allocate and initialize counting semaphore we have one more parameter here apart from int options that is int initial count which keeps uh, count of the um, <coughs> number of times semaphore is given okay next sem delete uh, where it takes sem id terminate and free a semaphore sem take is a routine uh, which takes two two parameters sem id and timeout which take a semaphore sem give is to give a semaphore which takes a parameter called sem id and sem flush which is used for unblock all tasks waiting for a semaphore. If you want to refer this, just refer your VXOX reference manual for valid arguments in the above routines. Okay, mm -hmm. all the routines. So a binary semaphore can be viewed as a flag that is uh, available or unavailable when a task takes a binary semaphore using semtake. The outcome depends on whether the semaphore is available or unavailable at the time of call. If the semaphore is available, then the semaphore becomes unavailable and the task continues uh, executing, uh, executing immediately. If semaphore is unavailable, the task is put on a queue and of block tasks and enter a task of pending on the availability of the semaphore. When a task gives a semaphore using semgive, the outcome depends on whether the semaphore is available or unavailable at the time of call. If the semaphore is already available, giving the semaphore has no effect at all. If the semaphore is unavailable and no task is waiting to take it, then the semaphore becomes available. If the semaphore is unavailable, and one or more tasks are pending on the avail uh, on its availability then the first task in the queue of pending task is unblocked and the semaphore is left unavailable i repeat 
के बने ए टास्क गिव्स ए बाइनरी सेमोफोर यूजिंग सेम गिव द आउटकम डिपेंड्स ऑन वेदर द सेमोफोर इज अवेलेबल और अनअवेलेबल एट द टाइम ऑफ द कॉल इफ द सेमोफोर इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल गिविंग द सेमोफोर हैज नो अफेक्ट एट ऑल If the semaphore is unavailable and no task is waiting to take it then the semaphore becomes available isn't it if the semaphore is unavailable and one or more tasks are pending on its availability then first task in the queue of the pending task is unblocked and the semaphore is left unavailable so we'll see in the coming example we have two tasks task 1 and task 2 are competing to update the value of a global variable called global g l o p l a b a l sorry <laughs> the objective of the program is to toggle the value of the global variable ones and zeros task 1 changes the value of global to 1 and task 2 changes the value back to 0 without the use of semaphore the value of global would be random and the value of global would be corrupted Let's see here. We have includes first, and the prototypes task one, task two, and the globals with an uh, macro ITER that is for iterations, and uh, uh, sem ID that is sem binary into global equal to zero. We initialize it to zero initially. So void binary void to create semaphore with semaphore available and queue task on FIFO basis. Here. After creating sem binary is equal to sem b create uh, with the FIFO and full, we have to note one thing, like uh, lock the semaphores for scheduling purposes, and then spawn the two tasks. That is task ID one and task ID two using task span with the uh, uh, respective names T one and T two with uh, rest of the parameters as understandable. So let's see at the tasks task one. subroutines so this is task 1 subroutine and uh, int i equal to 0 for a number of iterations take wait indefinitely for semaphore and then plus plus global has been printed with the id sem give that gives up semaphore so in the task 2 it's like sem give int i sorry it should be a small i instead it has been typed as uh, capital i it should be a small i please correct it while you are working with it so give up semaphore as a, that is a scheduling fix uh, fixing and then for uh, 10 iterations sem take print f and then give in this loop for 10 iter iterations then <coughs> you copy the whole source code in the example and compile it load the object file onto the target machines run the example by executing the main routine binary etc of the example on windshield terminal you should make sure as usual have redirected ios otherwise you won't see the results of the print of commands F you need to do to follow ups on the experiment one is in binary schema for example remove the source code associated with the comments notes 1 and notes 2 okay notes 1 and notes 2 okay and compile and run the program is there a difference in the output if so explain the reason why next one is write a program that toggles the value of global between 1 and 0 using counting semaphores just edit the example code to make appropriate modifications for more information you can refer to for additional information vxworks user manual and reference manual thank you for your time and uh, please uh, subscribe for more updates and uh, to get notifications click the bell icon thank you